In this lecture, I will specify how to use conditions in state charts. To show this, I have prepared a small example for you uh, of an elevator simulation. Uh, basically, the elevator has a current floor and when you use the floor selected event, you can choose to go to a different floor. So to show how this works, I will run the simulation. So when we start, we can see that when we're running the simulation, when we start, the doors are open and the elevator is waiting for a floor. So here we have the initial uh, action that uh, we set the current floor to zero and uh, there is no, currently no one that has asked to, for the elevator to go to a particular floor. So now if someone asks to go to a particular floor, let me simulate this by providing uh, the value here. For example, suppose we wanted to go to the sixth, the, the fifth floor. How do we do this? I specify the value of floor and then I trigger the floor selected event. The doors of the elevator close and then the elevator keeps on moving up until it reaches the current floor. And then we go back and the doors open again. So here in the state machine, we can see how this is realized. While the doors are open, the elevator is waiting for a floor selected event and if this event uh, is present and the floor value is not the same as the current uh, floor on which the elevator is present, the doors will be closed. We go to the doors closed event. Uh, there we will uh, change the value of some boolean value uh, sorry, the value of some boolean variable open, which represents if the doors are open or not, to false. And then there's another condition here that specifies that, that, that checks whether we should move the elevator upwards or move it downwards. And basically the condition, all conditions on transitions in state machines are represented between, uh, between these brackets. So here we verify we should be moving upwards if the selected floor is higher than the current floor. And here we have another condition. We should be moving downwards, moving downwards if the current floor is lower, is higher than the selected floor. And if uh, the floor to which we want to go is uh, higher than the ground floor. So, uh, so let me do this uh, once again. So now we are currently at floor five. And I want to be going down to, let's say, floor uh, two. So in that case, when I use floor selected, we will not choose this condition, but we will choose this condition. So I'm running and effectively we are going down. And while going down, the, the, in different steps, the value of uh, floor will be decreased and the doors go open again when we are waiting for another event. So here we see uh, at many different places the use of conditions to verify if we are already at the selected floor or not. Uh, so that's basically a very simple example that shows you how to use conditions on transitions in a state chart. I will perhaps add one more uh, transition here to reflect the fact that Suppose we are waiting on some, some floor and there is no uh, event uh, arriving. In that case, I want my elevator to go down to the ground floor automatically after a certain period of time. So to do this, I will simply add one more transition um, to say that okay, while the elevator is waiting and while we are not receiving any event, we should, after, let's say, 10 seconds, automatically go uh, to uh, the ground floor. To do this, uh, so we will go to the ground floor. So we, uh, at the end, the ground, the floor this, that you want to select will be floor zero. But of course, we do not want to do this. We only want to do this if the current floor is not the ground floor. So let's say if the current floor is higher than the ground floor, then after 10 seconds, we will go to the ground floor. Okay, so let's now run this again.
So when I start, the doors are open. Uh, when I select a particular floor, let's say the 10th floor, when I select the floor, I'm starting to go upwards. I will do this, uh, here you see that the current value is increasing to 10 because we are always triggering this condition. The doors go open again and we are waiting. And now we continue to wait and you can see that after 10 seconds, I'm not selecting any other floor. The doors will close again and uh, we will be going moving down to the ground floor, which is ground zero. So effectively here now we have done it and we are back to the current floor, which is uh, ground zero and the doors open again. So that's basically the example that I wanted to show you in this uh, short lecture.